Hi everyone, Felix here. At the time I'm writing this script, I have just been informed that Janice Burgess, the creator of The Backyardigans, died on Saturday, March 2nd, 2024. As someone who was a very big fan of The Backyardigans as a kid, and still appreciates the show as an adult, I am very saddened by this news. My condolences to her family and loved ones, and to all the other people who were fans of The Backyardigans and the various other shows she had a hand in during her time working for Nick Jr. I have been wanting to make a video about the public domain music used in The Backyardigans since 2022, but I've procrastinated on making a video about it. Now with Janice Burgess's passing, I think that now is the time to honor her legacy by finally making it. Thank you very much, Janice Burgess, for the happy memories that watching your show brought me in my youth. May you rest in peace. The bird with feathers of blue is waiting for you Back in your own backyard You'll see your castle in Spain Through your window pane Back in your own backyard the target demographic for the Backyardigans may have been preschool-aged children, but the show has much to offer for viewers of all ages, including parents and grandparents. For example, in the episode The Best Clowns in Town, Austin paid homage to Harpo Marx of the legendary Marx Brothers, from dressing like him to communicating by honking a horn. I don't know too many preschool-aged kids who are familiar with this comedy group that got its start in the vaudeville era, but I think it was a great touch. This channel is about public domain stuff, and there are enough songs in the show that use the melodies of public domain songs, and episodes that reference public domain books and movies to make this video a few hours long, so today I'll be focusing on five songs and one episode that references a public domain book. Without further ado, let's get on with the list. When you're smiling When you're smiling Smiles with you. Up first is a song from Season 1, Episode 6. It's great to be a ghost. Pablo, Uniqua, and Tyrone are ghosts haunting a mansion and playing a game called Hide and Go Boo, in which they hide from Tasha and try to scare her. Tyrone is very nervous and lacks confidence in his ability to be scary, and after Pablo and Uniqua fail to scare Tasha, he sings the song, When I'm Booing. I'm deciding a place to hide in. Then jump out and say boo. This song is sung to the tune of When You're Smiling from 1928, written by Mark Fisher, Joe Goodwin, and Larry Shea. Keep on smiling, cause when you're smiling, the whole world smiles. Interesting thing to note is that while Tyrone sings that the other ghosts laugh at him for not being scary, that actually isn't the case in the episode. When his attempts to be scary fell flat, Pablo and Uniqua would always reassure him that he'd do better next time. This just goes to show you that anxiety can change your perception of a situation that doesn't reflect reality at all. As far as copyright goes, When You're Smiling just barely entered the public domain this year, making it the freshest free IP on this list. Our second song comes from Season 1, Episode 8, The Key to the Nile. In this episode, the Nile River dries up, and Princess Cleo Tasha and her servants Pablo, Tyrone, and Austin have to collect gifts to give Uniqua the Sphinx in order to find out how to get the river back. Throughout the episode, the servants repeatedly point out that Princess Cleo Tasha never says please or thank you. When they give her the gifts, Uniqua tells Tasha the secret of the Nile in the song Please and Thank You. Oh, for goodness sakes! Please and thank you, that's the secret. This song is sung to the tune of Shine on Harvest Moon, composed by Nora Bayes Norworth in 1908, and the original lyrics were written by Jack Norworth. Long-time It's Free IP viewers may remember that Shine on Harvest Moon was also featured in the pilot episode of Over the Garden Wall. Mm. Where's Sean Crops? Near the thing with Cabbage Lady. So shine on, shine on Harvest Moon. John! John, we're 
Stop, we're leaving! Another thing to note is that while The Backyardigans is an episodic show, there is visible development for the characters over time. In the early seasons of the show, Tasha is portrayed as being bossy and fairly self-centered, often taking on roles in which she's in positions of power. As the show progressed, she became a more well-adjusted friend and took on humbler roles, which you'll see in this next song. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. The third song comes from Season 3, Episode 6, Chichen Itza Pizza. Tasha and Uniqua are pizza makers in the ancient Mexican city of Chichen Itza, and they have to deliver a pizza to King Tyrone. Tasha expresses her reservations about having to travel so far through a jungle to deliver the pizza, but Uniqua reassures her in the song, A Bicycle Built for Two. Tasha, Tasha, it's going to be okay. This song is sung to the tune of the 1892 classic Daisy Bell, written by Harry Dacker. It won't be a stylish marriage, I can't afford a carriage, but you'll look neat upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. Together we will bike it, relax and try to like it, to shoot and me and pizza mix me on a bicycle built for two. As you can see, the Backyardigans kept the final line of the original chorus lyrics in their song, which they did with a few other public domain tunes they used in the show, but I digress. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Clementine. The fourth song comes from Season 1, Episode 14, Polka Palace Party. Tyrone has to get his friend Sherman the Worman to a party with his other Worman friends, and they meet Pablo, Uniqua, and Austin along the way, forming a polka band. They all get on a raft and float down a river and sing Oh My Sherman to reassure Sherman that they'll get to the party on time. Oh, we're floating down the river, just a cowboy polka band. This song is sung to the tune of Oh My Darling Clementine, written in 1884 by Percy Montrose. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. We have found ourselves a drummer. Who will give our band a hand? While the song Oh My Darling Clementine is considered a kid's song these days, the original lyrics were pretty dark, as they talk about how the narrator of the song watches helplessly as the titular Clementine drowns in a river. I suppose it's possible that the showrunners chose this song to foreshadow that the raft would drop off a waterfall at the end of the song, but don't worry, the characters and their instruments ended up just fine. He'd fly through the air with the greatest of ease, the daring young man on the flying trapeze. The final song we'll be discussing comes from Season 2, Episode 8, Horsing Around. In this episode, Pablo is a jockey and Uniqua is a cowgirl, and they enter a race to see who's better at riding horses. Tyrone also enters the race with his very slow-moving donkey, fittingly named Molasses. The plot of this episode is similar to that of the tortoise and the hare, with Pablo and Uniqua repeatedly getting sidetracked throughout the race trying to outdo each other in meaningless competitions, and Tyrone remains focused on the task at hand. Towards the end, when Pablo and Uniqua are off quote-unquote horsing around, Tyrone sings Keep Going Along. Oh, don't lollygag and we don't horse around I don't want to brag but we're gaining some ground This song is sung to the tune of The Flying Trapeze, written in 1868 by George Laybourne. His movements were graceful, all girls he could please And my love he purloined away My girl's the best gal that I've ever found just keep going along. The original song is also commonly known as The Daring Young Man on the Flying Trapeze, and if you've seen the Cuphead show, you may remember that that's Cuphead's favorite song. Going to the center of the earth, oh what will be there? We're going to the center of the earth, what will we see there? Joel or Beast or Tasty to finish things off, I'd like to talk about Season 3, Episode 7, To the Center of the Earth. This episode was released a few months before the 2008 film Journey to the Center of the Earth, which itself is based on a novel of the same name published by Jules Verne in 1864. In this episode, Tyrone loses his lucky penny, and professors Pablo and Uniqua work together to help him retrieve it by tunneling to the center of the Earth. Every song in this episode is an absolute banger. We're inventors, amazing inventors. Our inventions can go slow or really fast. They're inventors, amazing inventors. And here are some inventions from the past. You can't sit still on diamonds. They take you for a ride. Woo, wow, woo, wow. Doing the diamond. Doing the diamond side. Extend the arm. Extend the arm. You're going to reach so far. Extend the arm. The extend the arm. Oh, what an arm you are. 
that's all the time we have for today's video. As I mentioned earlier, there are tons more songs and episodes I could have talked about, so maybe I'll make more videos about free IP and the Backyardigans in the future. In the meantime, feel free to tell me about your favorite free IP based Backyardigan songs and episodes in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to like this video, share it with your backyard friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss what comes next from It's Free IP.